Black spending matters. Black spending matters. Black spending matters. You know, if we can, if we can uh, be able to facilitate the black dollar and put it, put it all together, maybe we can, we can start building empires that way. How do you feel about how black people spend money today? Too many of us are consumers. Oh, we're horrible at it. She was throwing off some money when I opened up one because I, I don't got a shop no more with nowhere else. Uh, did you know it's, it's, it's interesting too, man? Like, it, especially with us um, and not knowing our history. I mean, local history. But this is why you're important. Though. This is why you're important. I mean, a lot of people don't know that. Like, in the 50s, we were more of an entrepreneurial community. Yeah. We had more entrepreneurs, you know. And I, I recommend people talking to like some of their elders and stuff and they'll tell you. You know, like it was a black man in Hunters Point named Archie Reynolds. Uh, he owned eight businesses at the same time. Different ones too. Different ones. Uh, you had Charles Sullivan, mayor of, of Fillmore, controlled the music industry in Fillmore. So I think like back then we were, you know, we had the businesses and people were used to spending with each other. Yeah. And people like you reestablishing themselves is reestablishing that mentality too as well. You know, and that's why you employed me, you know, because it's like throwback to where, where we need to get to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, I mean, I'm glad to be in a position where I could do that because that's all I look to do is like, like cats know me, cats see me fly through the hood and cats know me like, Hey, Joe, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's 180. Yeah. You feel me? And I want them to be able to see that if I can do it, though, you're like, you really can. Like, straight up, I don't care what you do or what you've done. Like, you could do it too. And, and it ain't gonna say Living it's proof. easy, but you could do it. And they know, like, I hope they see it. Like, man, this boy, though, like, people tell me, and I let it, I'm, I'm, I'm real humble, but, like, I want more people to really be like, yo, like, like I know him and I know what he was about and I know what he is about. And where he and, came from. Yeah, so like ain't no should be no excuses. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There shouldn't be exactly. no excuses, yo. Like real talk. Exactly. Right. See, see, cause you know it's like, you know, and coming from our experience, cause I you know I get frustrated too because like you hear different little sayings like I can sell ice to an Eskimo, you know, I can sell uh, heat to the sun or whatever. But in reality you guys only wanna sell drugs, your mind is stuck in that box. So it's like seeing somebody like you that's expanding and showing that, you know, it's not just drugs, it's not the only product out there. Yeah. Which is good for these Everything little kids be, growing yeah, up, man, too. Every, you can sell, like, every, I'm, I, I, I'm promoting selling no kind of drugs, yo. But everything in my head, I, I equate to, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever I was selling, you know what I'm saying? Them shoes is that. Yeah. And I'm pushing them like I would push that, straight up. Right. It's just a... It's just shooting. You have to do that legally. Man, I, or my shirts. Right, right. Because I was watching uh, uh, Money Never Sleeps, and they had one one little part in there where they was talking about uh, ink, right? And how some to the fact of where ink affected all of the Bible sales. Because if you print Bibles, you know, if you print Bibles, you need ink. So it just opened my mind to say, man, everything is a product, even something like ink. Man, <laughs> hey, crazy you said that because with the print service, like the print service, just opened up my eyes to everything. Like, like everything is needed. Like, just like the flyers or the the, the labeling on these microphones, like from coffee mugs and shot glasses and slippers and all that stuff is made by something. So whoever got the something that they making it with is making some money, and it don't always gotta be the normal stuff. They, like you gotta have a business like it don't gotta be no shoe store I got I'm taking this print service out the shoe store it's gonna be a print service I want I seen a That's big right. old printer yo it was like bigger than this room and it was printing out the big billboards that was just being used for all these damn campaigns somebody was pressing that up why it could have been me right. or you why right. your company why you and your kids couldn't be in there or your family Pressing right. up all Bernie Sanders posters. You know what right. I see? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And we got that contract. Right. right, right, right. Exactly. Right. You know, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's interesting, but you know, you, you uh, can make money off a of thought. Especially like if you're in a place, you're in a hard place. You really sit back there, open your mind up, and um, you know, you, 
come up with all kind of ideas. Mm -hmm. And that's what I had to do. I had to leave. I had to get up out of here. I had to see something different. And my homeboy, like, it was crazy. Like, everything was really forced on me. Their potential. Black Spending Matters is dedicated to helping black entrepreneurs advertise their products and services. We are striving to provide a platform that black consumers will utilize in efforts to support black owned businesses. As you all know, black businesses continue to struggle to maintain in today's economy where blacks spend over $1 trillion on purchasing products and services in the U.S. There is no reason we as a people should struggle to have our own businesses when we possess that much spending power.